Hi guys, welcome to Meek's Tarot. Today our question is going to be what will happen this week, any new surprises, things you can expect to happen, and yeah, so we have three piles today. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. And you can pause this video and meditate on the crystals or the piles. And then you can also close your eyes and then open them and pick whichever pile you feel most called to. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. And I almost forgot to mention that I am doing a giveaway of tarot cards. So all you have to do for the giveaway is like and subscribe and make a comment down below and then I'll randomly choose one of the comments and that'll be the winner. So um, next is a clip of the tarot cards. These are really great tarot cards for beginners. They have a super pretty blue background and it also comes with this awesome book that has colored pictures inside which is really great for beginners or anyone that just loves tarot this is for people that chose this crystal amethyst and sorry for the lawnmower in the background literally every time i record these videos there's always a lawnmower or construction people so we're just gonna keep going <laughs> all right so question is what will happen this week so we have harmony We have conflict and defeat, recognition and reward, uh, temperance reversed, nine of swords upright, king of swords reversed, and nine of pentacles upright. Okay, so while I was um, shuffling the deck and like putting out the cards the there was a song that came in my head um, love fool by the cardigans so I feel like for most of you that are watching this is gonna be more of a more based on love this week or your relationship so in the beginning I see that there this may have been going on for a while, that there has been conflict and arguments with your other person. I feel like it's going on for, has been going on for a while, but this week, it's only going to last the beginning of the week, and then towards the middle, things are going to die down. And I see that you guys um, are going to have a little bit of anxiety, maybe some sleepless nights, like this... This card shows Nine of Swords, just overthinking, thinking about the arguments, thinking about the conflict with your other person. And then we also have the King of Swords, and usually when it's upright it talks about like a leader, a father figure, or some man that you look up to, but it's when it's reversed it usually, it talks about Someone that may be playing mind games, not telling the truth. They may be lying to you. They usually have selfish ways. They can be aggressive. So for the feminine, it's probably the masculine that you're getting in an argument with. Yeah, because all these cards are women except for this one king of swords that's reversed. So like this week there's gonna be keep your eye out for somebody that's gonna be acting selfish and not really giving you the harmony like this card but I see that you're trying to work through these problems with the person or for some of you you may be trying to just move on and do your own thing from this person and not really put in all of your energy because 
some of you putting in all your energy is keeping you up at night and giving you anxiety and just overthinking everything that's happening and all of the arguments that you're having with this person. But towards the end of the week, I see that if you are trying to make things better with this person, there is going to be harmony and recognition and reward. So maybe this week you might be putting in more effort, like for your boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe having a date night, going out, um, having some fun with this person instead of having all this conflict with this person. And for others of you that aren't trying to fix this relationship, this could be for a boyfriend or girlfriend, or it could even be just for friends. You may have a male friend that has been lying to you and just being really selfish and not being honest about anything. I feel like there may be, for some of you, someone like backstabbing you and you're not really sure how to deal with it but for those people you just want to focus on your things and focus on where you want to go next because this is the the last card so this is going to happen towards the end of the week where all your efforts are paying off so you're rewarded in this card too recognition and reward so you're gonna see whatever you've been working towards, you're gonna see that things are getting a lot better. So that's it for pile one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for a chance to win the tarot cards. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Hello, this is for people that chose pile two or the yellow calcite crystal. Sorry for the the lawnmower in the background. Every time I try and film, there's always loud noises. And now there's an airplane, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for that to pass by. Hold on. Okay, so our cards are... Truth. Triumph. Spiritual Strength. Oh yeah, and this is the deck that had like a lot of cards. So I feel like for a lot of you this week, there's going to be a lot of things happening. Suffering in silence. Triumph success. Sacrifice. And mental conflict. And we have three of cups. Oh my gosh, I love these cards. They're so colorful. And then we have six of wands. The Hanged Man Reverse, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Moon. Let me put this back here. Okay, so, so overall this week I feel like you guys are going to be going through a lot like I said before. Um, you may be seeing a lot of nines or maybe your favorite number is nine so this pile is meant for you so in the beginning of the week I feel like you guys are for most of you you're gonna find out the truth about something or someone that's in your life when I was pulling these cards too I felt really dizzy like my head was spinning so I feel like this week there's going to be a lot of different choices that you're not going to be able to choose which one right away. It may take you a little bit of time to choose which path or who you want to hang out with or what you want to do with the situation. So I feel like in the beginning you may be going through a bit of a struggle. Uh, you may need to make a choice and I see for most of you that are watching this. You're gonna be having some type of celebration with friends or family. 
So that's what the Three of Cups is, is celebrating with other people. And then, so you may be going to like a birthday party or, I don't know, a get together. We are, well, while I'm filming this, we're getting out of the quarantine. So you may be getting with your friends and hanging out with them, having some parties. And then I see that for the Six of Wands, you're working towards achieving a goal and you're working hard and you almost have reached this goal but there is something what the heck that ant just fell on the cards okay <laughs> so there is something that um is in the back of your mind maybe feeling frustrated by something you're taking on too much of the stress from it so this week i feel like you're overthinking gonna have to sacrifice something and maybe for some of you it may be a relationship or a friendship or something that you thought was gonna last a long time but you're realizing that it's not it's really not worth it because it's causing you this suffering and silence or it also may be you have to sacrifice these thoughts that are in your head of overthinking of overthinking of what could happen or what you could have done. And with this one, 10 of wands, you're carrying on too much of that weight and it's making you hard, making it hard for you to move on to your next goal. Like up here is your goals, but this is you with all of your thoughts and overthinking and it's just making you really slow down so you're not able to walk up these steps to reach your goals or to achieve things that you've been wanting to. And also this week you're going to be reflecting on what you really want. That's what the moon card talks about. Reflecting on your shadow self and looking at your inner self and seeing if what you're doing right now really aligns with your true self. But then towards the end of the week, I see that you guys are coming up with a plan or coming up with an idea on what to do next on a new beginning. Maybe you are you might be offered something new by the end of this week. Or you may just come up with an idea or start taking action like this card shows. And this one, Triumph Success. So yeah, I see that there's going to be someone telling you the truth about something or you being you finding out the truth about something and you being in your head overthinking a little bit it's pulling you back from your true goals but you do need to sacrifice this overthinking or whatever or whoever is holding you back from what you want to achieve because they're making it a struggle for you to get up those stairs start doing what you want but this week there is going to be a celebration with friends and family uh, maybe a pool party i feel like it is going to be a pool party i just keep thinking about people <laughs> hanging out around a pool so i feel like for someone, they were going to be going to a pool party this week. And then this week, you're just going to be reflecting on your, your thoughts, your shadow self. And then coming up with a plan, coming up with an idea. Maybe sacrificing the people that have been making it difficult for you to move on. And yeah. So that's it for pile two. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for a chance to win the tarot cards. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is where people who chose pile three or this crystal. All right, so what will happen this week? What can you expect? Any news coming or anything of that sort? So we have transformation. You may be going through a transformation right now or you are about to this week. We have destiny, so whatever happens this week is meant to happen.
patience and planning, awareness, rise above problems, creative expression. Oh yeah, and this was the only pile that I used these, that I felt called to using these angel cards. So I feel like for this week, there's gonna be guardian angels around you, watching over you. And then we have nine of cups reversed. And we have four of pentacles, king of pentacles, three of swords reversed, and the wheel of fortune reversed. So like I said before, I feel like for most of you, you're going through a transformation and this is also going to happen this upcoming week or this week, but this is destiny. It's meant to happen for you. I feel like for a lot of you, you may be feeling impatient or ready to get out of this phase, but I feel like the angels and your guides are really trying to point you in the right direction. They're making you more aware like this card states. Using more of your crown chakra to get messages from the angels or from your guides. And then we also have rise above problems. So maybe that's why you guys are feeling impatient because there's a problem and you're not sure how to figure it out. So you're just kind of sitting there this week and you're feeling really impatient, but by kind of resting and contemplating on it, you're receiving messages from your angels and from your guides. And this week I see that you guys are going to be expressing yourself creatively. You may be painting, you may feel drawn to painting or drawing or doing something artistic to kind of get your ideas and your thoughts flowing. And then we we have nine of cups reversed and four of pentacles. So for some of you I feel like you're holding, you may have received a lot of money or you just have money that you're scared to spend. So you're holding on to your your money or your savings very tightly like this guy the pentacles represents money and he literally he's holding on to one with two hands and he's holding on to these with two feet so he's like so scared to lose one of those like he would risk his life to saving one of those pentacles like i used to do that too i used to be scared of spending money and I used to be literally this four of pentacles I wouldn't want to spend any money I'd want to just hold on to my money so tightly and felt like if I did that like I would never run out but it actually works kind of the opposite way it's like using the law of attraction when you hold on to the money tightly like that it's like giving out energy or a vibe that you don't have enough, so you're not able to receive as much as you would if you weren't holding on to it tightly. So just don't be too scared to spend money because holding on to it super tightly is also... It's not negative, but it's not a good thing. Like, there should be a balance between spending and savings. Because that also creates a law of attraction for money to easily flow in and for money to easily flow out. So if you guys are interested in law of attraction for money, um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that can use like guided meditations or just spells or ways to have more of a balance of this law of attraction for money. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you're coming out of this r rough patch. There may be heartbreak or um, maybe you lost your job. Just you've been feeling kind of depressed lately, not motivated to do much. 
but this card, wait, which card is it? King of Pentacles talks about having a positive mindset and being positive and looking at all the things that you do have. This week you may be feeling a little down. I feel like you guys have been going through this for a little bit, but what'll really help this week is if you guys do this creative expression and paint or do something to get your mind off of things. And this will also get you out of that state of mind where you're just sitting there and constantly like reflecting on how you feel and how impatient you feel and why aren't things moving. And this will help you rise above any of the problems around you. But overall this week I see that there's going to be a lot of angels. Like I said before, a lot of your angels or your guides are going to be around you, helping you and trying to give you that motivation and more of that reassurance that they're there and they are trying to help you keep positive so that you're able to move on to the next big step in your life. So that's it for pile three. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for a chance to win the tarot cards. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.